Hi, this is Piero San Giorgio, author of the book Survive the Economic Collapse. Today I have to make um, a confession. I have never listened nor watched any show by Bear Grylls, despite 10 years of preparation about uh, every, every topic that I can think of. And I never did watch any of these shows or nor read any of his books. Now, I did. I was on holidays and I picked up this book, uh, Bear Grylls, Mud, Sweat and Tears. Uh, it's one of, uh, one of uh, Bear Grylls' books. And I must say that I found it very good. You know, on the, on the prepping and survivalist website, there's a lot of criticism about Bear Grylls. Probably it's jealousy because the guy is super fit, he's, he's good looking, he's a former SAS, he has climbed the Everest, he has done all these shows that are great and he must have a load of fun to actually do all these shows. And, uh, and so people are a bit jealous because, hey, we all want to be in his pants and do this, uh, this climbing stuff. However, what's interesting, what I, and really, I didn't see any of the shows before. What, uh, what, I, what I found interesting about, um, about um, this book, it's his biography, and it tells a bit about his childhood. That's not the most important or interesting part of the book I found, but certainly he gives a bit about the motivations the, the ob- or, or, and, and w- what drove him to join the SAS, try to join and then join the SAS. It's a very difficult uh, process to, to get into that. And, and, and that, that those chapters about, about the SAS training and, and, and how hard it is to, on your fitness but also on your mind to reach these, this, which is one of, if not the best, special forces units in the world, uh, and extremely punishing in terms of physical uh, requirements, clearly is, uh, is very interesting because you discover that um, something that is also very important for us all is that you learn in this kind of uh, uh, process to join uh, these kind of units that physical fitness is one thing, but pushing your mind to push your body to beyond the limit, beyond the physical limit, beyond the matter, um, is what makes the difference between a very fit guy and a special forces guy. So that was very, very interesting and fascinating chapter chapters. Another one was the climb of the Everest. Now, I never gave a thought about uh, mountain climbing, even if I do live in my, in my mountains in, in Switzerland, but mountain climbing to those heights above you know, 8,000 meters, uh, first of all, it's a very interesting logistical um, uh, endeavor, but also it's extremely punishing physically. And again, it's in your mind. Any minute you want to drop and leave that, that, that painful, painful activity uh, to go back to your, to your house and have your cup of tea and, uh, and biscuits and, uh, and suddenly have a, a hot shower. No, you have to, to stay months in the same clothes and climb up through snow and wind and uh, over ice and across crevices and up thousand meters and up and down to to carry your oxygen and 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 stuff and forget bug out bags i mean these guys have to carry tons of stuff up and down these mountains before they can even attempt to reach uh, the summit which uh, is very hard to do because of weather and fast changing weather at those heights and in those kind of environment so very interesting chapters on that and what uh, what what then I did, and after I read this book, is obviously I went to watch his shows on the internet. And actually, yeah, sure, it's, uh, it's not the kind of survival that most of us will ever have to face. I mean, who's going to jump in the middle of a mountain uh, yeah, some, in some remote situation? It's possible that you need what he shows in these shows. But these shows are entertainment. They're fun. They're, they're actually quite well done and, and really interesting. They have no usefulness, really, for most of us who prepare for economic downturns or economic collapses. However, what I must say is that from his book and the show, this guy is actually a nice guy. And uh, he has a sense of humor, very typical of the British upper class, of course, but still, it doesn't matter. It's very, very nice. Uh, I think he has a good character, he's a nice guy, he has good morals, good uh, upbringing. He could, he could, um, he could be... Um, ego-driven and uh, wealth-driven, and you read and you look, watch the show, he's adrenaline-driven and uh, project-driven, of course, like, uh, like some of us. But uh, very interesting, uh, interesting read. And um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm a fan now. <laughs> from zero to hero, I'm a fan. I mean, I, I will probably not watch stuff on TV because I don't have time and I don't have a TV. But certainly when, when these shows get available on the internet, I will watch most of them. And um, hey, Bear, if you listen to us, if you want to learn more about survival, not the way you do it, but the way strategically you have to think about it, let's meet. Check my book, Survive the Economic Collapse, because I give more strategic thought to survival, not just how you tie knots and how you survive in, in incredibly difficult environments, which is very useful. But I give the most strategic part how civilizations or part of civilizations can survive. So, hey, if you listen to this, let's meet in the UK or in Switzerland or anywhere in the world. Uh, so, for you guys, you I cannot even say read this book because you probably will read it anyway. This is it's bestsellers. It goes to millions and millions of people. But certainly, it gives um, an add-on to what I write. And for those of you who don't know Berg Release, maybe it's an interesting read. And certainly, I encourage you to watch his shows, if only for the entertainment value. And it's much better than... Uh, that most of the crap TV that we have anyway. So, with that, I farewell and uh, jolly good. <laughs>